Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com, and today I want to dig in a little deeper with Pro Tools. Uh, we've talked about click tracks in the last couple of videos, and as you can see here, I do have a click track recorded here. Uh, but I want to talk about the different edit modes in Pro Tools, and that's going to require us looking in this top left section here. As you can see, we've got Shuffle, Slip, Spot, and Grid. Now, as I go through this, I'm going to use some shortcuts to select the different modes. And those are basically, those are just your F1 keys, F1, F2, F3, and F4. So if you see those changing, that's how I'm getting there. And I make them click too because, you know, I like to click sometimes. Okay, so what are these modes? Uh, if you're a new Pro Tools user, you probably don't do much more than work in slip mode, which is its default mode when you just fire up Pro Tools for the first time. That's the mode that you're in. Now, slip mode is basically just your typical edit mode. It allows you to come in and make selections as big or as small as you want and there's no predefined section that it's selecting. As you can see it's very smooth. I can select you know down to the region, I mean down to the sample level, uh, however many samples or you know however much I want to select. And so it's easy for going in, you know this is the first part of a guitar track. I'm going to come in here and just delete all that. We can do that real easily within slip mode. Probably, I would say, 95% of the time you're going to be in slip mode. But there's a few situations where it makes sense to move into these other modes. Uh, the most common, I guess, secondary mode you would use is grid mode. Now, what grid mode does is, once we go into grid mode, you'll see that the, uh, the background here changed slightly. And if we zoom in a bit, you'll see that now there's a grid here. And this grid is divided up into quarter notes, as uh, this little, little guy up here indicates. It's in quarter notes. And what we can do here is when I make a selection it's kind of a predefined section. Here is exactly one quarter note. This is exactly one measure. I can't, I can't highlight anything just a little bit above that or a little bit below. It jumps to uh, another, another exactly downbeat or quarter note. Now you can set that to whatever you want but for our purposes this is wonderful because in this song after recording it the artist and I sat down and decided that this break here is too long. He, he played it for an extra measure which we thought didn't fit. So you can listen to it here and along with the click you can hear what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's that extra, we decided we want this part to be right here. So this extra measure here needs to go away. Now, and if it wasn't recorded to a click, then we can't use this grid mode. There's no grid to map it to. We'd have to go do it manually. But since we did record to a click track, all I have to do is simply come in here and select one measure and delete it. And we just move this other section back. And that's it. So now it goes... Now, of course, we'd want to go in there and do a crossfade, and uh, typically you go back into slip mode for that. So, slip mode, bring it back, do a quick fade, and it should sound wonderful. Okay, and you may, you know, if I had more time, I'd go in and, and make sure that sounds right. But for our purposes, that's what we're talking about. Now, let's go back a second, undo a few. Now, we're in back in grid mode, and we've selected this section right here. And let's say... For whatever reason, we have to do this a lot or we're editing out a lot of sections. There's another mode up here called Shuffle, and we get there by hitting F1. Now, what Shuffle does is if you delete a section, it'll take everything to the right of that and slam it up against the previous region. So we came in here in grid mode and made this perfect selection of exactly one bar. Now, if we just hit Delete, watch this section here will just jump back. And it's aligned. We can go in and do our crossfade again. But that's pretty helpful for if you're deleting sections. Also, if you're doing some pretty intense editing, I keep zooming there. Uh, if you come in and make a selection here, if we move this back to there, this section right here that we're holding it at is going to jump back. So if we're doing some smaller edits and need to keep this front point at the exact same spot, we can move this to here and suddenly that jumps back. Or maybe this transient here is what we want and that jumps back. So there's it's, it's not a very useful um, everyday task that you would use. Uh, the shuffle mode for, but it's good to know that it's there and that's a tool that's available to you. So we'll undo out of that again. Okay, and the only other mode we have left is spot. Now, spot to me is the uh, uh, crap, I just messed everything up. I need to get it back to where it was mode. So let's say you're there's a really bad track and you're going in and you're you're separating regions and you're moving things around and you're trying to make it sound right and you know before you know it, you've cut up the entire region and you have no idea 
where it was supposed to be. Say you moved it over to try something out, or maybe you even moved this over past there, and now it's just all out of whack. Now what you can do is, uh, first of all, one thing that Pro Tools is good about is you can just get rid of everything and then take the region and drag it back out uh, the full length of, of the song. So we've got this region here. It's, it's all the audio still there. As you can see, it's all there. It's just not in the right spot anymore. As you can see, it's been moved all over the place. Now, how do I get it back exactly where it was? I don't remember. Maybe I don't have a saved version I can revert to. Uh, that's where spot comes in. We're going to come up here, go into spot mode. And now if we come down here and click on the region, you'll see this window pops up. It's the spot dialog. And what this does, it lets you spot or place the audio in it precisely the place you want it to go. So if you knew that it was at 26 seconds, 26.006 seconds, you could select that and it would go there. Uh, but most of us don't remember where that audio was originally recorded precisely. That's where this little button comes in. It remembers because the audio has been time stamped. It remembers where it was when it started recording. So all we have to do is simply select this. We'll click that button. It'll tell it. It'll move that that um, value up to this region up here. Select that and hit OK and watch this region. It's going to jump back to where it was supposed to be before. And there it is, back in the original spot. We can go back to work. So that's the only use that I use spot for. If you do a lot of video work, a lot of video guys use that a lot more, but that's my only reason uh, to use it. And it's helped me quite a bit when I get a little too, a little too overzealous when I'm doing some editing. So that is, those are the four edit modes in Pro Tools. Hopefully this was helpful in explaining those. If you have more questions, please leave a comment. If there are other things that you use those modes for, uh, let us know. We love to learn from you and learn some tricks that you've come up with. And you can do all that by leaving a comment on this post. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, head back over to my website. It's homestudiocorner.com and leave a comment there. And uh, we can maybe get in a good discussion about other uses for these edit modes. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you around here soon. Thanks. Bye.